Hello, everyone. I'm Alex Fitt. We have this breaking news to bring you. It comes to us out of Las Vegas, and that is where O.J. Simpson has been arrested in connection with an alleged armed robbery at an off-strip casino. We were told that uh, it could have been imminent, that the investigators there at the Las Vegas Metro Police Department were looking at him for the past almost couple of days since the incident which happened uh, at the Palace Casino there in a hotel room. It is a bizarre series of events. Depending on whom you believe, there seem to be two tales. Uh, there are stories about O.J. Simpson having entered uh, this hotel there, the Palace Station Casino, into that room, potentially armed with a weapon and uh, coming in with as many as five to seven other uh, people to support him in his quest to get back what he has described publicly and uh, admitted to, uh, his own sports memorabilia. There's another side of the story, another person, one of the accusers, who says they do not want to press charges. Uh, and said that he'd actually fraternized with O.J. Simpson in the past. These two sports memorabilia people are well known in the industry, uh, that being Alfred Beardsley and Bruce Froming. And uh, for O.J. Simpson's part, as you see this video right now here on MSNBC, this is O.J. at a friend's wedding in Las Vegas just yesterday evening. He willingly addressed the media there, uh, said that he was innocent, he had nothing to say about things, and actually uh, courted the press, if you will, and uh, uh, stayed with them for a bit until he headed on into that wedding. Uh, right now, I'm joined by Jeffrey Steinberg, who is a celebrity lawyer in Los Angeles. Uh, Jeffrey, welcome to you. Let's talk about what we know and don't know in terms of the potential charges here. If O.J. Simpson went into that hotel room armed, even if to take back his own property that he believes is rightfully his, the sports memorabilia, what kind of charges might he face? Alex, it has nothing to do with whether it was his property or not his property. That's irrelevant. That's irrelevant. This cocky, narcissistic moron, absolutely, absolutely, if he did that, he committed a robbery. The two counts of robbery with a deadly weapon, there's a the assault count, and there's a conspiracy count for robbery, robbery and burglary with a deadly weapon. That's what he's facing. Okay. Are there any circumstances, Jeffrey, under which O.J. Simpson ought not to have any sort of burglary, robbery? charges facing him. Let's say there wasn't any gun involved. And again, that is all speculative at this point. That has been reported in a couple of different sources, but that has yet to be confirmed. And we do hope to get more information again from the, uh, from the Las Vegas police as soon as we can. Uh, Jeffrey, before you uh, answer that question, would you mind holding on just for a moment? Because we have uh, MSNBC's general manager who also doubles as NBC legal authority, Dan Abrams. Um, Dan, what do, you th what do you think about all this? You've been following this story as closely as anybody. The fact that O.J. Simpson's now arrested. Stunning development. I mean, really, the, the, the ups and downs of this incident since we heard about it uh, really two days ago have really been, been amazing. I mean, you've got, you've got one of the people who was supposedly a victim now claiming that he wasn't really a victim. Um, you've got uh, someone else saying that, uh, that, that he was. And most importantly, you have the idea of O.J. Simpson uh, breaking into uh, someone's hotel room, presumably to to steal his own things back. I mean, this is this is as I've said this before. This is almost O.J. Simpson coming full circle. It reminds me of that uh, that that scene from the uh, the movie Trading Places, where Dan Aykroyd is sitting there, uh, completely disheveled, stealing food off the the table at a party with a gun in his hand. And it almost seems like that's where O.J. has gone, that he's just sunk to this, 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 this point that is so low. Um, you know, it's hard, some would say, it's hard to get lower than um, killing two people. But O.J. Simpson in his life now seems to have uh, really sunk to a, to a new low. Yeah. You know, Dan, I'm sure you've seen the video uh, of O.J. as he was entering into that wedding that he attended last night, one of his friend's wedding there in North Las Vegas. Uh, when, when you watch him addressing the media, he seems so jovial, so uh, confident, as if he's courting the media. You know, it, it's as if he has a completely unrealistic view of the world and how he is perceived. Wouldn't you agree? To, to O.J. Simpson, uh, anything that he has done wrong is somebody else's fault. That has always been uh, O.J.'s M.O. Um, even, you know, even dating back to when Nicole was accusing him of, of, of beating her, uh, O.J. always diverts the blame. 
And I am certain that what we are going to hear from O.J. Simpson and what O.J. Simpson said, said to the authorities is that it was somebody else's fault, that there was either a misunderstanding or he was lied to or that they've got it all wrong. I mean, I remember talking to O.J. Simpson at length in the hallways at the civil trial uh, when he was uh, standing in the second trial when he was being sued by the Goldman and Brown families. And he would focus on this minutia in the case that had nothing to do with the actual evidence. Um, and he would get obsessed with it. And he would then focus on how the media and the authorities were all out to get him. Uh, and that this just shows again that, that they're unfairly targeting O.J. Simpson. And I think that's probably how he feels again right now, or at least how he's claiming to feel now. Mm -hmm. Of course, that civil case, one that he very dramatically lost uh, at the hands of uh, the prosecutor, John Q. Kelly. I mean, he's a man who owes millions of dollars now to the uh, to, to the late but, the state of his ex-wife, former, former and, and wife, and, and the and Goldmans. And what's interesting about that, Alex, is when I first heard about this, I kind of thought that O.J. Simpson was going to be involved in some sort of robbery for money, <laughs> that, that O.J. can't make any money because any money he makes, he's supposed to give to the Goldman and Brown mm -hmm, family. So mm -hmm. if he's going to get any money, it's got to be effectively illegally or under the table. And so when I first heard this story, I thought, oh, my goodness. O.J. Simpson was involved in some sort of robbery to get money, but now it turns out it's to get his own items back, which makes it even sort of more ludicrous and and hard to believe. It's uh, items, uh, I'll, I'll mention them to our viewers right now, again, everyone, they are sports memorabilia items. Reportedly, this is in the Las Vegas Review-Journal, they were uh, six or seven footballs, three different plaques, uh, along with items signed by NFL football great Joe Montana, the 49ers, baseball greats Duke Snyder, Pete Rose as well. So it's not only, according again, Dan, to the Las Vegas Review-Journal, items that were necessarily his sports memorabilia, right. but perhaps something that he owned. Dan, in the interest of being fair here, uh, here's somebody who has been uh, accused of something, he has been arrested, but of course no one is found guilty until proven so in a court of law. So are there any circumstances under which you, Dan, could conceive that, that O.J. Simpson would be innocent because these items he truly perce perceives as being his own property. Sure. I mean, if, if, if it's not true that there was a gun involved, okay, let's say uh, that there turns out there was no weapon, but it sounds like the authorities are saying that there was. But if there was no weapon, and O.J. Simpson believed that these items belonged to him, and he then simply went to try to retrieve them, uh, then that's not, that, that's not a crime. Um, but if he, you, you can't, even if you believe someone else has your items, that does not entitle you to go in with a gun. Uh, and demand them back. That's when you call the police and you say to the police, I mean, O.J. Simpson was quoted saying he was saying he was on a sting operation. O.J. Simpson doesn't have the right to be on a sting operation. Uh, individual citizens can't go on sting operations. Only the authorities can go on sting operations. So even by O.J.'s own words, him using the term sting operation is problematic. Uh, because, you know, because citizens can't do that. But look, you're right that there are going to be elements of the crime uh, that they're going to have to show. They're going to have to show a certain level of intent, et cetera. They're going to have to show um, that, uh, that there was a weapon involved. Um, and they're going to have to show, for example, that O.J. Simpson wasn't duped. I mean, let's assume for a moment that someone said, O.J., hey, just come along with us. We're going to go find some of your stuff. Next thing he knows, uh, they're breaking into this place with a gun being pulled out. And O.J. Simpson's defense might be, I had no idea that mm -hmm. that's what this was about. The problem with that is he's already saying it was a sting operation, mm -hmm. which makes that sort of defense difficult. There are uh, a number of attorneys, not the least of whom have appeared on MSNBC Sunday today and said, were they to give O.J. Simpson advice, they would say to him, be quiet, shut your right. mouth right I now. Right. Uh, and um, Dan, I'd like for you to join us as we listen right now to O.J. Simpson, who did anything but that, everyone. He courted the media last night while going into a uh, friend's uh, wedding last night. Let's take a listen to what he was saying to the media. You have to ask them. I'm in, I ain't dealing with that. <laughs> All right, enjoy. God him? bless. A little bit about what you God said? bless. Well, you saw it on TV. I ain't got nothing to say. I didn't do nothing wrong. Hi. God bless. Hey, guys, take care. You know, very jovial in his comments there. Bye, God bless, hey, guys, as if he's greeting uh, his throngs of fans that he's so used to having in his former NFL and collegiate uh, football career. 